Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently working on dropping our doom. Now the way that we need to do this is by, it seems like the most effective way to do it is stack wiping armies. That definitely seems to be the most time effective way to do it. Sieging, not time effective, that's for sure. So we're going to finish up this siege here. We are working on regenerating our forces here. We only need an additional 48 men. So we're going to start banking up manpower here. Cruelty of mercenaries, huh? Hmm. So do we want army professionalism or do we want our mercs to be cheaper or remain their current cost? It's going to be the latter. Losing that prestige is tough, but we're relying very heavily on our merc army here and their manpower regeneration. So that's fine. We're going to continue to have them siege here. Hmm. Lose 5 Doom for 15 Army Tradition? Done. We definitely need to lose Doom. We need to keep in mind we are gaining 9 Doom per year. And we definitely need to make our way through this. Who all are we at war with? Totonok, Mixtech, and Zapotec? Okay, so we're not at war with these guys. Noted. So as soon as this fort falls, we're going to head down and stack wipe these guys. That's the idea here. We're at minus 5% right now. Okay, there it goes. So now we're at 71 doom. We walk down over here. And this will be no real problem. We take that out. Now we're still at 71 doom. We're going to walk in over here with our main force. We take this. Oh, this is a Potek. For some reason, I was thinking that this was not Zapota. We're going to walk up here, and these guys are going to see. Treason against the Aztec, huh? Okay, that's unfortunate. So we're going to take this all over, and what is the supply limit here? Should be okay. I suppose we could walk around here and fight these guys. It's a theoretical possibility. What just happened? Where did their army go? They fought a rebellion and exited the war. So Mixtech is no longer in this war. Well, that's wild. So we can go around over this way. This is under siege now by Mixtech. What happened here? Mixtechian War for Independence. Okay. Well. Here's the thing. We don't require additional vassals. We have sufficient vassals. And taking over additional territory here is not very time efficient for our reforms. So we should simply exit this war. We can separate PCs, guys or not we could just take gold from them and not really anything else gold war reps sounds good to me all we're looking to do here is drop doom right so we don't need to be in that war anymore we can head up over this way and we could attack Terrascan here which I would be delighted to do. We're going to get our other forces into position. Kalima just declared on Terrascan. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We were literally about to do that. Hmm. They're allied with Yokotan. I think we have to do this. We're not actually going to take land here. So we're going to move up to here, and we're going to have these guys be positioned here to attack Yokotan. Noble Rebels. Out over here in Zalisco. Awkward timing. One thing we can do while we're at peace. Can we actually sacrifice their ruler? Okay. Okay. This would be 12 Doom. This would be 8 Doom. 
this would be no doom and 10 doom. 16 doom and 4 doom. So 16 is best so far. 9? Is that that same one? Yeah, that's 9. And this is 9. 5 doom. Okay. So it was this air. 16 doom. So that drops us down to 60 doom. And then we can defeat these guys, but that doesn't really do anything for us. So we're going to need to fight these guys. But the idea here... And is this only in Flower Wars? Winning battles, occupying provinces, and sacrificing the rulers and heirs of our subjects. Okay. So it's mostly just winning battles. That is the primary thing here. So I'm going to declare this. We're going to walk in up over here. And we see their army up here. We want to pursue. And then we want to come down over this direction. Hopefully. We want to win this battle. That is top priority. So winning these battles drops our doom. That's what we really, really want here. Where are they retreating to? Not entirely sure. Uh, they're being a little bit awkward. I don't know where Yokotan's army is at this moment. I would like to make our way around over here and see if we can find them. They're not up here. Noted. These guys are running northward. And we can purchase an ability here. AE impact? Or higher developed colonies? We'll take AE, AE impact for now. This colony will finish eventually. But not for a while. There's their army. And we can't get to it easily. Okay. We're going to catch this force with our mercs. I want to see how many troops we need here. Six. We're going to move these guys over to here. If we can get there. Land movement is blocked by the hostile force. So our mercs are going to come back down over to here. Yeah, we have no way to get in there. So we're going to split these guys off like so. We're going to split off a number of these. There we go. We'll do something kind of like this. And these guys will group here. We do need to occupy this territory, right? That is high priority. But higher priority. Mm, seeding Z Zakatula. Are we okay with that? We actually are. Do it. 8.2. So yeah, the religious reforms do shrink with the provinces. So that's noted. At a certain point, we're going to find the sweet spot. So that was a stack wipe there. At this point, are we largely done with this war? Like, do we even want to do anything else with it? I mean, I don't really want to spend the time sieging all of this. It's not ideal under any circumstances. That's for sure. Checking in over here. Yeah, that's vassalized to Kalima now. Noted. These sieges are not super worthwhile in terms of the time that they, that they cost, right? That said, we are better on our religion now. Substantially better. So that is noted. Now this fort will fall soon. And in fact, it fell right then. Perfect timing. So we're going to group together and head in here. Unfortunately, we don't catch this force. Oh, they came right back in. So we caught them. Beautiful. And we instantly have a wall breach here. I'll take it. How much do we actually need here, though? Not this much is the answer. So we're going to just have these units here, and we'll move the rest out. There we go. Cool. We're losing money right now, but we do win up over here. We're not actually looking to take this territory, right? And do we want army tradition or army professionalism right now? I 
I want to see his land. In both cases, this would be problematic. We'll take the army professionalism. These guys need to regenerate for a bit. Okay. So we are getting ourselves some people to sacrifice here. Lose the stability or gain three inflation. We'll take the inflation, I guess. But our inflation is growing. So that's noted. Okay, our mercs can head back to our territory. And we're about to win this war. A core on Zapotec. Okay. And we're just going to head on in over here. We do have access to Admin Tech 3. So Admin Tech 3 will be good. That'll give us some production efficiency. We will certainly take that. We're not looking to core anything. We're not looking to take any territory here. So let's go ahead and end this war. Are we looking to vassalize anybody? I don't think we are. Because I'm pretty sure that our cooldown here is not based on how many vassals that we have. 494 is the next time that we can do that. Yeah. So, we're just going to take all of their gold. And we're going to demand war reparations and trade power. Force religion? Sure, why not? Cool. There we go. So we're going to make our way on up over here. We're at 61 right now. And our next target is going to be out over here. We're going to be taking out Tarascan and Kalima. Absolutely. Kalima is truced with us. Wait, can we even do this? This would be breaking truce. Sad. So who can we attack? 497. We just attacked these guys. We fought these guys recently. So who else can we attack here? Truced with Aztec. Truced with Aztec. Yokaton is truced. I'm guessing we don't have CBs down here. So we kind of don't have anyone we can attack. And thanks for that, Kalima. Truces are going to be wrapping up very soon, though. March. So, we can do this in one month. Okay. That seems fine, then. There we go. Our truce with Kalima has expired. Now we can do this. We're going to walk in with our main forces here, and then with our mercs to here. Well, hello there. Okay. So we're winning both of these battles, obviously. They are retreating up this direction. We will pursue. And we're going to fight these guys. Did we just stack wipe one of them? I think, yeah, we stack wipe one, but not the other. So, here we're going to split out some of these forces. And I just want to put one unit on each of these for now. Our mercs are continuing to chase. But I'm not sure where they went to. They're going up here. Okay. So the war is over at this point. All of these guys are going to pile in here. We need nine units here and three here. So I'm going to shift consolidate and we're going to move out four units. These guys are going to move out to here. And we caught these guys up here. Are they retreating southward now? Yes. That's ideal. And we're going to need to move in. We have 4,000 here right now. So we need to move all of these, actually, are going to need to move here until our mercs are available or these guys are done. So for now, that'll do. And we need to head southward and try to find those guys. We're at 58 Doom right now. So we're able to keep our Doom relatively steady at this point. We're going to fight these with our mercs, and they will retreat southward. Actually, they're retreating northward again. So we'll see where they're going to go. Cool. We won our siege down over here. I love it. We can position here now, but realistically, we don't need to do anything else there. We need to continue to head north. And we'll catch these guys here again. Now, our mercs are running low on manpower, but we stack wiped that. Cool. 
So we're going to head over to Kalima. Minus seven. Cool. So this is going to be done soon. But our mercs are definitely running low on manpower. That's not shocking. We're going to use our mercs again here. And our main forces are going to back off. And we'll just bank our manpower. So these guys are going to head over to our capital for now. And out of curiosity, our army maintenance is maxed. Our rooting out corruption is minimum right now. Okay, noted. Let's see here. Five prestige sounds good. And losing 60 diplomatic power or disloyal subjects. All of our subjects are already disloyal. We're not going to annex them. So that's not going to be a thing. Tyrannical nobles, huh? We'll chastise the landowner, but I don't want to do that right now. That's the thing. Because this is going to be... Yeah, these guys. I don't like to lose the base tax there. But I feel like taking back the Crownland is more important. So this siege will end eventually. Our mercs are running very low on manpower. We may want to consider... Okay, we just lost five doom there. That's nice. We may want to consider letting these mercs go and swapping to a different set of mercs at some point. Good omens. Additional minus five doom. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and PC these guys out. Again, we are going to do war reparations, transfer trade power, and that's it. We don't want to vassalize them. We are just working down our doom here. That's the idea. So is there anyone that we can fight now? There's a Potek here. We're truced for another five years. These guys are our vassal currently. Mixtech, we're truced for longer. Totonac, we are truced until 1499. Aztec, 1506. So there's basically nobody that we can fight right now. If our doom was slightly lower, I would absolutely look to do a reform here. But our doom is going to be a problem no matter what. Yeah, this mercenary company is indeed low on manpower. I'm feeling like we disband them for right now. We won't be able to get them back, but that's okay. At least not for a good long time. We'll seize land here. There we go. And next, of course, we would look to hire additional mercs eventually. These guys are currently available for hire, and yeah, that's probably who we'd go for. They're slightly smaller in terms of their numbers, but I think it's fine. There's no one we can attack right now, so there's no point in paying for mercs, in my opinion. We exhausted that manpower pool, and that got us a lot. The next question is, when can we sacrifice again? We can actually do it now. Okay, so 12 and 8. 0 and 10. 0 and 10. This one is 9. 9. And 5. Okay, so it's this one. That puts us at 43. We can now do a reform. Colonist? To finish this off? I'm actually leaning towards... Yeah, I think this is the way to go. This will increase our doom. So we're at 68 now. And we now send our colonist out over here. To get that colony finished. We've been paying a lot of money for this colony for a long time. So, at this point, we are truced with literally everyone. For how long? Most of them are five years. Some of these down over here are less. 1499. 1499. 1500. 1500. 1500. Yeah, it's basically all going to be like 1500. Well, that's going to be spicy. No doubt about that. Lose ducats or lose prestige. We will lose ducats here. 
I don't suppose we could get a doom reduction here. That would be amazing. But what is our current doom at? 5.4 annually? That's starting to feel manageable. We do need to wait until our truces are up. We do need rivals, and we will rival, well, all of these guys, I suppose. And if we need to, we'll hire additional mercs. At this time, we don't need to. So, yeah, it would be these guys. They're slightly smaller, but that's fine. An alliance offer. Who is this? These guys up here. We're truced with them for a good long time. We can accept this and be allied with these guys just for protection from some of these guys teaming up against us. That would be the idea. We can also increase our army size. What is our max here? 17 without any vassals. Okay, we'll take this up to 15 for now. And yeah, all, everybody's rivaling us, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. They're all truced with us, so uh, we'll, we'll get this royal marriage done. Okay, these guys are flower warring down here. I would absolutely like to intervene in that, but there's nothing to be done there at this moment. But our doom isn't going up that quickly now. So I feel like this is reasonably fine. We're gaining 127 manpower a month right now. And so we can get up to 16 of 17. There we go. And we're allied with these guys. So that will provide some amount of protection on paper. I'm not expecting them to actually help us in any meaningful way. But for now, that'll do. These guys will go after in 1500. They are... Yeah, 1,500 is about when that'll happen. So this is going to be a lot of doom. We're kind of reliant on events here. And we could encourage divination, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. 5.4 annually. So we're about four years away. That's going to be a lot unless we have events between now and then. I do want to mothball our forts. There's, I think, no point in having these forts up. These guys are all fighting each other, which is understood. I'm not too concerned by them. Okay, losing 10 doom here for 50 admin power is absolutely something that we want to do. We want to keep our doom as low as possible. So that'll be fine. Once we hit 1500, and that buys us a lot more breathing room. Once we hit 1,500, we should be able to attack these guys and take down our Doom again. With the idea being getting ourselves to the point of being able to do another reform as soon as possible. Another reform is going to... We're at 5.6 right now. Which is already more than half. Yeah, because we're at 8.6 because we have Tenochtitlan. So that'll be fine. Our Doom is going to get much better very, very soon. I do want to get us that 17th unit of Spearmen. We can actually get 18 now. And we'll definitely take admin power. Our inflation is starting to look not so great. And there's flower wars happening. Lots of them. That we can't participate in. So these guys are, like, vassaling up and getting alliances and such. We ju did just lose some stability there. I'm okay with being at one stability for the moment. Okay. So it's very true that 1500 is going to be our next truce date. When our truce is with nearly everyone ends up breaking. May of 1499 with these guys though. And that's almost certainly going to be what we target. It is now 1497 and our doom has hit 70. So we're looking better there. We're going to decline the, the alliance with Zapotec. We are going to get this province done soon enough. I'm not going to go after other provinces at this moment. Kalima failed and had Doomsday. So, that's these guys over here. Noted. They're Miltech 4? Kalima's Miltech 4. A lot of these are now. We're going to be Miltech 4 ourselves fairly soon, but 
1506. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're currently focusing admin. We should probably focus military at this point. I don't think focusing admin is all that useful from here. So we'll switch over to that, and that brings us to being 1502, four years sooner. That's worth it. Cool. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to go back to war. Our doom is very slowly ticking up, but it's getting much better managed. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.